Good morning, greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. I have the doggies. We're gonna go walking. I have John. He's also gonna be walking. Hi, John. Good morning. And this little angel. Come here, little baby. Let's go. Yay! Oh, which doggy? This one. He always picks peanut. Okay, you pick peanut. Woo. And Uncle John. Okay, I'm gonna help you with Peanut because he's crazy right much. I'm walking Peanut and Elizo. <laughs> Elizo's chasing after me with a bag of dog poopy. Yee! Look at there's Elizo and Peanut. Elizo, you're too slow. <laughs> you almost got him, baby. Go get him. Oh, he's running away. Oh, you're tired? No. No. All right, you guys, I'm heading out. We're going to go to the. Where are we gonna go? To the bank, then the Goodwill. And then we're gonna to go to like a little event at my neighbor's house, so that should be fun. Also, oh, I need to go to the grocery store also. Maybe I'll go to the grocery store later. Okay, let's go. All right, you guys, just got to the Goodwill. Let's see what they have inside. I am super excited. We have a bunch of these like Super 8 film canisters, which are pretty cool. Which is like a vintage and fun. I don't think any of them have film in it though. Which... What is this? Street level. Some Adidas. All right, let's check out the handbags. This is that fake coach that's been here for some time. That's like peeling. Madison West. Those bags have been here. It is Sunday too, so I feel like a lot of people like to go shopping on Saturdays. So it's always a little bit of slim pickings. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky if they're gonna bring out something new. Oh, they have some corbels. Some cords, coffee, this is birdhouse looking thing, ooh dolphins, I think the thing that they were on broke, ooh look at these, they made of like seashell things. $1.99 each. It's actually not horrible. The Tupperware hair, the Tupperware, Tupperware. I think it was Pyrex. Yeah, that's what it was. The Pyrex stuff that was here yesterday, <clears throat> actually Friday, I think, um, are gone. I think someone messaged me and told me that they were like $68 a piece on eBay, which is amazing. That is an amazing deal because they were like really cheap here, but. I don't know, I feel like I have a hard time selling Pyrex. I don't really like to sell on eBay too much. So, I don't know. I think I actually have a bunch of Pyrex right now that I bought once for someone, and then they never actually bought them. So then I just like have a bunch of, sorry, my battery died while I was halfway through talking to you guys. But yeah, so I have a bunch of Pyrex. I think I'm gonna list up in the shop because I bought, I think I bought it like almost a year ago for someone and I don't think they ever, well, they didn't end up ever um, buying them, so I, I think they're all in really good condition too. So I'm gonna put those up if anyone's interested. Oh, these cups are super cute. Glass. What does that say? Oh, Windsor. Range glass. I'm gonna tackle this beast right now of all these bags and see if there's anything good in here. It always gets a little overwhelming right here just because everything is like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it gets so crazy right here. Everything's like on the floor. But um, I'm gonna go through it all. Let's Claiborne and see if there's anything.
Alright you guys, I just left. Didn't really find anything. So now we're gonna head. I think I'm gonna try to go to the grocery store really quick because we need to get creamer for the coffee, which is very important. And then um, we're gonna head over to my neighbor's house for the things that they're having. So let's get out of here. And it is super duper windy. Um, but let's go inside. Just need to get some creamer and that's it. So. All right, I got my creamer. This one's my favorite one. It's so good. Let's go. Hey guys, okay, so the night is upon us. <laughs> and I just walked the dogs, ate dinner, and all that stuff. And I am super tired from today. It has just been a really good day, but it was just like, um, actually. Hey guys, YouTube is Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm here with Eliza and the dogs. They're going nuts. We're in the little park. <laughs> Peanuts going potty. Okay, I have to go clean it. Hold on a second. Look at them go. I don't know who's walking who. Peanut or Eliza. Look at them. <laughs> I love walking the dogs over here. Look how pretty it is right here. It's so gorgeous. The view is like absolutely amazing. Come on, Eliza. Look at there's Eliza and Peanut. He's gonna jump on the wall. That's his like favorite. Oh no, he's not jumping. Oh no, Eliza's jumping on the wall. Eliza, wait, baby. Okay, Eliza, let's see a high jump. Okay, one. Let me see. Hey, come over here. Hey, over here. What's that? What color is that? Papa. <laughs> I thought you were going to jump. Come over here. Ah, uh, no, don't go over there. He wants to go on that rock. <laughs> okay, Eliza, you're in charge of the doggies. Oh, go, go. <laughs> Look at him, literally walking these three dogs and this little baby. <laughs> or two dogs and the baby. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Good job, baby. Guys, so right now I'm using my little Fendi Monster as like my little bag right now at the moment. It's kind of like attached to my keychain and it's so perfect. I'm like so obsessed. Anyway, my package is wrapped up and ready to go. So we're going to head over to the post office right now. We're going to head over to the post office and then we're going to go to the Goodwill. And then I think that's it. Then we're going to head back home. Um, I have some stuff I have to finish at the house as well. But look at my Pikachu shirt. I love this shirt so much. I got it from the Goodwill. <laughs> All right, you guys, we just got to the post office, but look how dark those clouds are. There's no rain in the forecast today, but it certainly looks like there's gonna be a little rain, but who knows, maybe a little. It was actually drizzling lightly this morning for like a minute. <laughs> All right, you guys, just got to the Goodwill. It's actually drizzling, so I'm like running in right now. Oh my gosh, these like flowers are so cute. They're $3.99 each. They're pretty cute. It's a picture. <laughs> and then a Twilight book. I kind of like the color of these Adidas, but they are tiny. Oh, these are kind of cool too. I like the color of these as well. They're each $8.99. Echo, Nunbush, guess, some Clarks. Alright, let's take a look at the handbags. Street level. Every time I see a Jessica Simpson bag, I'm like, what is it? Mink. I've seen that before. This is a guess. You guys, this platter is so pretty. But it has a lot of like broken parts. But it's made in Italy and it's $25. It's so pricey. <laughs> but it's cute. But 
Oh, I feel like it's a little too pricey for something that's broken. Harry and David, Medford, Oregon. Those are kind of cute too. Oh, these like those. Oh, these are plastic. Walmart, a dollar seventy-two, and here they're a dollar ninety-nine, and they're like super used. Well, I definitely won't be getting those. Oh, these are like we used to use these for Taekwondo. Oh, that's right, someone wanted these. So I think I'm gonna pick them up for them. Someone messaged me about the little, <laughs> like this whole little setup. I think it's so stinking cute. All right, I'm gonna grab it for them. Now look at this face. $4.99, $8.99 at Ross. It's pretty cool, it's a little dirty, but I feel like we can, this is like probably also from Ross too. It is, there's part of the sticker on there still. That one's $7.99. I saw these yesterday, like these are like, you know like when they make new things to look old, but like it looks obviously like made to look old even though it's still new, like that's what that looks like. I always look at this thing too. Oh, these little jars are cute. Oh, wait, what is this? I see yellow. Oh my gosh, it's a chick with eggs. That's so cute. Tabletop something, oh yeah. So like those tabletop originals or something like that. I like the colors on that guy. An orange. This top stem makes me think of James of the Giant Peach. But it's like an orange, right? Harry Harg. Harg. Stolly 2008. Hmm. Might be like something. But it was 2008. That was like from 10 years ago. Okay, I already looked briefly through the mugs. Didn't find anything. And look through the plates already. These are pretty much the same plates that they've had the past few times I came to visit, which um, last time I was here was Friday? No, well, I was here yesterday, Sunday. So nothing really. All oh, these little piggies. What are these supposed to be? Are they like shells? No, they're like seeds. Oh, they're seeds. Okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I've never seen like a seed salt and pepper shaker. Oh my gosh. Everything's actually like pushed back, which is crazy because they're never like on the shelves. They're always all on the floor. I wonder if there's anything new from yes. Look at this Betty Boop like luggage. That's fun. Aruba. Ooh, someone went to Aruba. Got that bag. The color of the week is white today. Oh, okay. So anything white tags are half off. Thursday, they're going to be a dollar. I found these Michael Kors heels. They're not like the most cute. They're $8.99 each. Patent. Some fire crocs. Not fire as in like cool, but like, you know, crocs. Hey, these are actually really nice still. $8.99. I like the color. Size 3. Adidas? They're not bad. Alright you guys, I just got the shoes for Cade. I'm gonna clean them up. They're gonna be fantastic. I think I wanna try using the um, the shoe cleaner that I got from Angelus on them. So, we'll try them out when we get home. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in my room and I wanted to try out
Sorry, no, it wasn't the ceiling. It's the light box thing that I got. So I'm super excited to open it up and check it out. And actually, I want to make sure it works. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it works. But I should have done that actually when I got it to see if the light turns on. Okay, it's cool because these, like, this is like a drawer that pulls out from the back of the thing. And there's like some marks right here, but they're just coming right off anyway. So I'm totally cool with it. And then these just come out. I think this is just like for packaging reasons. And then everything else is, they're just like separate letters, which I think is really cool. Um, the drawing on the right for assembly reference. Okay. So yeah, all these are the letters. And then it's supposed to use six AA batteries that I need to um, install right there. So, yeah, like this thing is kind of loose, but I'm just gonna glue it down. It doesn't really, I think it's not, it doesn't really matter too much, right? Like it's just a little thing. So I'm gonna glue that down, and then um, should be on its way to being a light box. Alright you guys, there it is. I kind of had to like a make it work moment and like overlap the letters to make it fit. Um, I wonder how it's gonna look though with the lights on, cause I even had to overlap up here, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, this thing, like this piece being a little broken was a little bit of a blessing in disguise because the letters would not have fit otherwise. So, I'm gonna look for some batteries, hopefully have six AA ones, and we'll see how it looks when it's turned on. John wanted me to show you guys this double... Shelled. Shelled egg. He like literally has two shells. Wow. Amazing. So for dinner, mom made coconut chicken, which is super delicious. Ooh, some spicy soup. And arroz caldo. Okay, so Kid is wearing the shoes that I got him. Turn around, Kid. Wow, look at that. Okay, go show grandma. Okay, seriously guys, look at how magical it looks right now. Look at the look at the sky. Anyway, I'm walking the dogs right now. And we're gonna go do a little hike up this little hill back here. And the view is amazing. It's just a little chilly and I forgot my jacket. I'm too lazy to go back and get it. So we're just gonna make it work. Look at these dogs, they're going nuts. Liza, go get Peanut! Go get him! Go get him! Where is he? <laughs> She's like looking for him. Peanut blends in too well with the plants. <laughs> Eliza! There's Peanut. Oh my gosh, look at that sky. It's amazing. Alright you guys, so I am back in my room and dinner was delicious and I walked the dogs and now I'm just getting ready to start working on tomorrow's um, videos and I just wanted to um, clean up uh, I think this is the only one I really need to clean up out of um, the bags that I got because I want to first, I want to start, um, I want to work on my videos and once that's done, I'm going to start um, photographing like the new products I want to get up on in the, the shop. So um, this is one of them. It has like a couple like little stains like right here. I don't even know if it's showing up really on camera. And there's another one like right there. And is there anything on the back? No. Um, but. I didn't want to clean this bag up, so magic in a bottle, we're going to use the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care. Now this is perfect, even on Safiano, um, a lot of people think that Safiano is like super carefree, you don't have to do anything about it, and the great thing about Safiano is that it is very resilient, but contrary to popular belief you still do have to take care of it you still have to condition it because it is still a leather it can still crack and still stain and it can still get damaged and all that so but it is just more resilient just because of the way that um the leather is treated and it's made and all that so well the conditioner did a fantastic job of getting all those marks out so that's all gone now let's try to do this um down here and like a charm, it came off in like a second. Uh, so, yeah, Safiana, really great. These stains just came right out, which I am very, very happy about. Um, then there is just like a little thing right there, and I think that's it. So, and that one just came out really easily as well. This is such a cute bag. I like it so, so much. 
I love like just like the studs, I love the leather, like the leather is kind of glossy because it's soft piano. And then just in contrast with the gold studs, I think it's just so fun. And yeah, this bag is going to be like perfect for whoever ends up purchasing it. If anyone purchases it, who knows, you know? But um, yeah, so there is that. It looks so fantastic. I'm so, so, so excited. And... Let's see what else we have here. Oh, okay, we do have this Rebecca Minkoff right here. And it does have a little bit of, um, some, like, marks right there. Now, this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling, because I think Mom really likes it. So, we'll see. She's been, like, <laughs> she's been a little bad crazy, too, recently. But I do not blame her, because I'm a little bad crazy all the time. So, but... Who did I get it from, you know? Mom. <laughs> so, we're just cleaning up the bag. It's actually cleaning up really, really well. Most of these, like, there's just, like, a couple little dark spots, and they're just coming right off with a little elbow grease and with our conditioner, and it is just looking fantastic. The color of this bag is so pretty. It's, like, a light grayish blue and it's like I almost want to say it's a periwinkle but it, I definitely don't think it's a periwinkle because periwinkle has a little bit of purple in it right so it's almost like a like a dusty kind of blue color it's really really pretty and it's all pretty much all done so there it is there's that all the stains and marks came off beautifully couldn't be happier do I have anything else? I do have this guy right here, but... Oh, there is a little mark right here on this corner. Let's see if we can get that out. I think I need a little more conditioner. I think I put a little too much, but that's okay. Uh, and that came... Yeah, that came just right out. I think it was just a little bit of dirt. There is a little bit of marks on the bottom. What I love too about um, Mark by Mark Jacobs, um, his leather is treated really well. So in general, most of the stains that I encounter on the bags, they do come off really easily. So I always tell people like, if your bag, like, like, People think that their bags are like ruined or damaged or whatever because it has like a like a weird cast or something on it like it looks dark or something even might even look like a color transfer type thing. Um, get a little leather conditioner and see what happens because a lot of the time those marks just literally come right off and your bag looks like good as new. So it's crazy. There is a little something right here but why isn't it coming? Oh there it is. I think it just needs to be like kind of almost scratched off, but I don't want to like scratch it too hard. Like something just like dried onto here and it's just like sitting on the surface. Come on. Sometimes these things like just need a little bit of coaxing. I think I'm just gonna try and peel it off because it is just kind of peeling. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that came right off. It needed to be like peeled off. I don't know what it was. But yeah, now this bag is looking fantastical. The only thing um, with this bag is it is not, it, it is um, missing the crossbody strap, but again, one can be added really easily onto these. So this bag is fantastic. There is a little bit of um, darkening right here in the corner, especially because I just conditioned it. Um, this is like a little bit of color loss and when you lose sometimes that little top layer of um, the finish of the leather, um, it'll absorb like, it'll be, it'll readily absorb like moisture and stuff. So that's what happened right there, but it should lighten up and it isn't like super dark and obvious or anything. So especially because it's in the corner. That happens a lot in the corners of bags. And what else do we have? You guys probably saw all these videos too, or these um, 
all of these bags in this morning's video. So don't forget to check that out. It is the haul video um, from when I went to all those different Crossroads stores. I just love Crossroads stores so much. You never know what you're going to find. And I feel like um, they have like a higher concentration of like, you know, just like more... Um, like bags that are in better condition in general like at the goodwill you can find like bags that are in like total disarray there could be like a hole in the side of it it's missing all these studs and stuff and at crossroads that is few and far between i think i only encountered like one or two bags in all the times that i've been going to those stores um where that has like where i found bags like that and that's because they have a more well they have <coughs> Excuse me, at Goodwills, they don't really have, like, um, people that, um, are, well, I don't know, maybe they do, but they're a lot more lenient on what they put out. Um, in Crossroads, they actually buy the products from people, or, like, places like Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, consignment stores and stuff. Um, they'll either buy the items from the people or they're on consignment, and those items are usually in, like, excellent or, like, really good used condition, so... Um, the most you ever really encounter, like, edge wear on the corners, like this one, and maybe a little bit of, like, um, darkening and the lining and all that stuff. So, that's what I really like about shopping at those stores, too. So, just, like, um, the amount of items that you can find that are gonna be in good shape and resellable. And they usually only buy things or have things that are, um, like, in style that, um you could even sometimes still find brand new in the store. So I really like that. And not that that doesn't happen in the Goodwills or thrift stores and stuff like that, but it is um, a little bit more few and far between than um, when you go to like a consignment store or even like maybe a pawn shop or something like that. And you know, I do want to visit more pawn shops, but like in my immediate area, there's literally like no pawn shops. And like, I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't know, I don't really want to go and seek them out. Um, but one day i'm going to go to one so if anyone knows of a good one in like southern california california orange county la area let me know comment down below or dm me and i will go check it out but um yeah i think i'm going to end the video here so um thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me i had a blast um Oh, these bags are so gorgeous. Don't forget to check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com. I'm going to have these bags for sale up there for you guys if anyone's interested in them. Uh, and thank you guys again so much for, like, being so awesome. Your positivity and, like, it's, like, it's always inspiring and always makes me so happy. And I love that we, you guys, like, also uplift each other. You guys, like, respond to, your, like, each other's messages and comments um, in the comments of the videos. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been... <coughs> excuse me, too active, um, replying to comments recently on YouTube. I've just been, like, I, I'm so busy. <laughs> I can't even, like, I've been trying to, though. Like, I, I, was, I was responding to some comments today, and, um, but I will definitely try to get back to you guys. And again, if you guys message me and have, like, a question or anything, don't, like, please just, like, comment again or send me a direct DM or send me an email. All the links are down below in the description box. Um, I hate missing any of your comments and messages, but just, like, sometimes it just gets a little, like, I just, like, miss comments or messages because I get a little bit lost. Um, and I really haven't, like, figured out a way to, like, sift through everything properly. Because sometimes I'll see a comment and then I wouldn't be able to reply and then I forget to reply back because then it shows that the comment is already read and there's, like, no way to, like, kind of take that out. Anyway, long story short, um, sorry about that. And if any, if, if you guys, like, ask me a question or anything, just comment again. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think that is it. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I had a blast and hope you guys did too. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to check out this morning's video. And check out our new video again tomorrow at 7am. And then a vlog at 2pm. All Pacific Standard Time. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so there's this. Like a white dude. It's actually in pretty good condition. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. This one is $40. It's super cute. Might get that one. And then there's this fossil. It's a little worn. The color is like oh, $35. Put that one down here. 
This is a Dooney backpack. 